Not going to wait that long as the vice president works to galvanize support now for her own White House bid. The question then becomes, who does she put on the ticket to be her vice presidential running mate? Well, CBS News compiled a list of possible candidates. That includes Wes, uh, Wes Moore, the governor of Maryland. Other names being floated to the top of contention include Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro and Arizona Senator and former astronaut Mark Kelly. Now, during our newscast at 630, Lorenzo and I spoke to Republican strategist Annalise Keller, who thinks that the VP choice could decide the election. I think it is all going to come down to who she chooses to be her VP. And I think you're right. It, it is going to be, uh, you know, a choice. It's going to be important to to have someone who helps in those battleground mm -hmm. states. Those key swing states include Arizona and Nevada, as well as Pennsylvania, Michigan and Wisconsin. President Biden also won a narrow victory in Georgia in the 2020 election. Now, the director of UVA Center for Politics, Larry Sabato, believes the VP nominee could be a big opportunity for Democrats pick a candidate who might help her win a big state in the Electoral College. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, Vice President uh, J.D. Vance or Vice President nominee J.D. Vance doesn't win a state for Trump because Ohio was already in Trump's category. So Harris could actually get a leg up if she chose to do that. The VP decision doesn't have to be made until the Democratic National Convention, which is still a month away.